guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new trailer that they just released for the series finale. Gives us a good sneak peek at the final episode, or shall I say the final two hours, so the final two episodes in fact. And this is coming this Tuesday, obviously it's Monday night right now when this video is posting. So this is a last minute trailer, they released two trailers for the episode, we broke down the other one recently and now we're getting around to breaking down this one because it has some big scenes that are definitely of great importance that we need to talk about before we actually see the finale tomorrow night. So if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and jump into this trailer, so it begins with a shot of someone floating in the sky. Now, this could be anyone, it could be Supergirl, however, I'm going to take a guess that it's probably Overgirl, we see her later in the trailer, we're going to talk out and freak out about how the hell Overgirl is back. It seems quite ominous, although there is one thing that kind of suggests that this person flying in the sky is Supergirl, and that is some later shots when Supergirl is actually flying in the sky and she's using the All Stone's power and she's basically becoming invincible and absorbing everything and she's becoming a threat seemingly to the world by becoming this sort of godlike figure because she's absorbing all this extreme amounts of power. So anyway, the shot pans down and you see all the rubble and you know the destruction of what's been happening below. Then we go to a shot inside the tower. We've got Team Supergirl, again this is right where we're going to pick up with the episode. As Alex looks at Supergirl, probably thinking how on earth are we going to save Esme. Okay, so we cut to this shot, this is in fact William, and he's lying down here dead in this body bag, he's been covered up, and this is a scene where Supergirl is going to be talking to Jean about how she's failed to save her friends and actually be a proper good hero and not let anyone get hurt because obviously William faced literally the worst thing that could have happened and you know Supergirl is feeling really bad for it. Okay so we go outside and this is the funeral scene for William. We know that most of the cast who are in this episode are going to be at this funeral Again, I don't know if this is in episode 19, the first hour of the series finale, or is it in episode 20, the actual series finale? That remains to be seen, but we have Brainy and Nia here specifically. So, let's go to the big fight that's going to be happening during the first hour of the finale, and that is by the lake. And we've seen lots of shots and lots of photos about this lake, and this is where they're going to be trying to get Esme back, because it seems like Lex and Nixley bring Esme to this spot in order to exchange her for all of the different totems and so it seems at this point that they've maybe extracted the love totem out of Esme and that's why they're willing to give her back but it seems everything goes bad as one of the parties breaks their promise and you can see Lex and Nixley using their powers using the stones to fight back against Supergirl Okay, let's move on to the next shot. The next shot is just literally before or after that, and this is Nixie saying, I will destroy everything, and obviously this is talking to Supergirl to say, give me the stones or else. We then go to the next shot, and actually this is very surprising in the trailer because it seems like Lex goes his own kind of way, and so Lex is like, we're running out of time, and then in the next shot, he literally is attacking Nixley. Well, more so he's intimidating her, but he's got one of the stones in his hand and he's thrusting towards her and this is going to be a big deal because obviously Lex loves Nixley and that's been the whole thing recently since his arrival and Nixley has just learned to trust him, but now with this, she's not going to trust him anymore. So is this in episode 20 and is this where their kind of relationship falls apart? And it doesn't turn out to be because Lex, after all, can't be with anyone else, just like he's kind of destined to be. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but that's very interesting. Okay, so outside in that battle scene, we have Esme, who's ducking and covering in order to try and escape all of the explosion and the madness going on outside. So, back at the start of episode 19, we have the team, and Alex is extremely mad, obviously, because Esme's gone and she wants her back. 
But it seems like she's specifically targeting this at Supergirl and targeting it at Kara because she is Supergirl. And so she's pointing a finger at her saying like, we're going to get my daughter back. And then you get the shot of Kara and her reaction. And I don't know, I feel like Alex has been a bit mean to Kara recently. Obviously, they're going to be on good terms probably by like episode 20. But as of right now, it seems like Kara's getting a lot of the blame. And I don't think it's entirely Kara's fault. Like, it's just unfortunate that they didn't think about, you know, the potential of Esme being a totem, despite seeing the kind of flower tattoo on the back of her neck appearing out of nowhere. And William did the best he could to protect her, so if it's anyone's fault, it's probably Kelly and Alex's because they didn't think, oh, what could this thing be on the back of her neck? Could it actually be she's the love totem? And if she is the love totem or one of the totems, of course Lex and Nixie are going to go after them. So, yeah, I just think Kara is getting a lot of flack where she doesn't deserve it right now. Back at Lex and Nixley's base, we have Nixley trying to extract the love totem out of Esme as she uses her magical powers, you can see, with her hand. So, I presume she is successful at doing that. And then we get some sort of weird lighting change and seems like maybe there is an eclipse or someone is blocking the sun and again this is my theory about Supergirl potentially blocking the sun and that is why you have the coloration of these couple of shots and also there's a couple of shots like that later in the episode so it seems like at this point maybe Supergirl uses the all stone and she has to go and block the sun essentially to absorb all the power so we'll have to wait and see but we get this shot and it's a pretty cool shot and this is Nixley using her powers and unleashing it on Team Supergirl. But if you check the bottom of the screen on the left, she also uses it on Lex. Lex goes flying. So as I said, I do think there is going to be some big rift that will be created between the two of them in these episodes. And this is just another moment that emphasizes it because if she was really caring about Lex, she wouldn't have fired off with him in the kind of blast radius. Okay, so we go over... And we have Kara, and she proposes to John that she wants to use the All Stone. And in response, he nods, and basically, it's going to be Kara using what Nixley would have used in order to be successful and be all powerful. So, presumably, somehow, Team Supergirl and Supergirl herself get a hold of all the stones and use the All Stone on herself to become this kind of godlike figure who is powerful enough to defeat Lex and Nixley pretty easily. And obviously this is a kind of no-brainer, however, it comes at a cost, as all powerful things come at a cost. But we get this shot here, and again, this is where I'm talking about like blocking the sun, or whatever this ray is, maybe it's a ray of light, or it's just the magical powers going into her. It seems like it blasts into her back, and that's where she gets the power of the Allstone from. And so it seems like she actually goes ahead with it, despite Lena's warning in this next shot after that, where she talks about how, you know, she's playing God and, you know, it's never good to play God, especially in these circumstances, playing with something so powerful. And so talking about blocking the sun, now look at this. This is definitely Supergirl causing that kind of eclipsy light that you saw in a couple of shots. And so it seems like this is her absorbing all of the powers and it just so happens to be maybe she has to absorb some sunlight. So let's go over to a very contrasting scene which is the wedding. This looks very nice and it's going to be a great wedding but this is going to be towards the end of the finale. So don't go expecting it straight away when the episode begins. And so what looks like one of the final showdown scenes between Nixley and Supergirl is this. Again, this is that beaming ray I'm talking about. I don't know where the hell it comes from, but they are circling around it and flying in the sky. Somehow Nixie is able to fly. Maybe she is able to tap into her powers properly. Or could it be Overgirl in this instance? Which would make more sense. However, I have no idea how Overgirl is showing up. Although, let's move on to the next shot. We've got the phantoms who return, so someone opens up a phantom zone hole using probably one of the projectors, and I have no idea who it could be, and I don't know the reason for the phantoms are showing up, but obviously it's of some significance. And in what is quite a shocking reveal, it seems like Lena's mum, who shows up for a brief couple of scenes in one of the episodes, in fact gets hurt, and I presume it's maybe by Lex or Nixley, probably Nixley if I'm to make a guess, 
But yeah, she's here and I believe this is in the battle scene that we saw earlier with Esme and everyone. And there's blood dripping out of her mouth. It seems like she's maybe dead or she's extremely injured. So not everyone is going to get out of this finale unscathed. So now the return of some familiar faces. Again, this was shown in the other trailer, but this is a different shot of James and James is in his guardian suit. Also, we have another shot of Wynn in the crowd in what is the final battle scene of the episode, of the whole series actually. But yeah, both of them are suited up and it's very exciting to see them back. But the best part about the trailer is this. We get a shot inside Catco with Supergirl facing off against none other than her evil doppelganger, Overgirl from EarthX. Like I said earlier, I have no idea how on earth Overgirl is returning. But maybe she was trapped in the Phantom Zone and with the Phantoms coming out that could be an explanation. But nevertheless, I'm so excited to see her because it's just so unexpected. Because she really has no links to any of this and out of any of the past Supergirl villains, I wouldn't have guessed she would be the one to come back for the series finale. But nevertheless, it's super exciting because I do love her. I think she's a great villain. And so here she is using her heat vision, facing off against Supergirl. But then out of nowhere, as you can see, Supergirl is very shocked, Mon-El shows up and blocks her heat vision and helps Supergirl take down Overgirl. And as Supergirl is like, what the hell are you doing here, Mon-El? He reveals that Supergirl has made the history books and that's why him and Wynn have returned to help them. And so obviously something went down that was different from the way it was originally intended to go down. And it definitely has something to do with her using the power of the Allstone and absorbing so much power and energy that it's changed history itself. Or maybe perhaps it has something to do with Overgirl showing up and also with the Phantoms returning. As it seems like so much is happening that definitely there is some big changes from the way it was originally supposed to be. And so nevertheless, it's so exciting to see mon back like Overgirl. mon is one of my favorite characters, but he is, you know, a series regular from the past. And it's always great to see him return, so super excited to see Chris in this episode and him actually showing up like this to save Supergirl. It's going to be a great moment. Okay, so Lex faces off, as you can see, with Guardian. You can tell from the green kind of kryptonite light that he always uses in his gauntlet. And back in Catco, it seems Overgirl is not the only person there, so maybe Lex and Nixley are working with Overgirl, I would presume, as Lex shoots one of his like arm cannons at Supergirl and she gets hit by it and goes flying back and also at the end of the episode it seems like Lex is extremely annoyed and I feel like that's because everything is not going his way and presumably he doesn't have Nixley anymore and it's just him by himself and you know he's just getting extremely mad and then at the end of the trailer there is the big reveal that the US the government is ordering an airstrike to take down Supergirl at which we cut to the final shot of the trailer and it's a shot of Supergirl and there is an extremely bright light next to her face. I don't know what it is, but you can presume it's something not so good and something that's coming in very, very fast because the light appears out of nowhere. And so definitely the airstrike is to do with her being in the sky and just standing there and absorbing all this power because it's extremely dangerous. And as you know, in the past, like the government in these superhero worlds are very against anyone being so powerful and so with her absorbing all this power and just like hanging out there in the sky I presume that is the reason for them calling in the airstrike to try and take down Supergirl maybe something goes wrong and there is some sort of weird reaction as well and so that could be the reason why they're trying to get her down but nevertheless there is lots of options and possibilities and I don't know exactly how the finale is going to go down, but bit by bit, it's going to get bigger and bigger and I can't wait for it, especially like I've mentioned in this video to see Overgirl, mon -El, Wynn and everyone return and also to see how Supergirl finally wraps up their story. So I wanted to thank you guys for watching my Supergirl videos, obviously they're not going to go anywhere, I'm going to continue to make Supergirl videos after the finale finishes. There's always the potential that Melissa could return, so we'll be sure to post any updates whenever there's news or I have any theories. And make sure to not miss my finale review, which will come out tomorrow night. Obviously, it airs tomorrow night, so 
yeah, it's gonna be a big deal. Two hours of pure Supergirl action for the series finale. It's gonna be crazy. Also, I will potentially be making further videos, probably more in a retrospective manner. Also, I'll continue to make Superman Lois videos, so that's a Supergirl spin-off, so it is technically Supergirl related, so don't miss out on any of that and make sure to stick around. And yeah, this pretty much wraps up my final ever Supergirl trailer breakdown, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.